Hello, welcome to my channel. I wanted to create this where you can calculate how much proteins in your chicken feed because I'm watching these other YouTube videos where people are mixing chicken feed and they're giving you ideas and telling you, oh, this is really high in protein. But if you knew how to do the math and you didn't just take their word for it and you stopped to do the math, you would realize that it's not even the 16% protein that they need. A lot of them are only, uh, some of them are only 12 and 13% protein. And one of them I saw got up as high as 15% protein, claiming that it was way more than it was. So they're not doing the math before they do the videos. So here's how to do the math to help you. So if you're creating your own chicken feed, you can do the math. So this is the way I'm doing it. And I'm going to tell you how to do it if you're measuring it and you're not doing it by pounds and you're doing it by you know, cups or something like that. So this is the weight if mixing into 15, 50 pound mixtures done by 50 pound mixtures. So if you have half of 50 pounds, you know that's 25 pounds. One third of 50 pounds is 16.66 pounds. So this will help you to understand the math. One fourth, you know, of 50 pounds is 12.5 pounds. One fifth of 50 pounds is 10 pounds. One sixth is 8.3 pounds and so on. So you can see that if you see percentage on here and it doesn't say percentage protein, well, the percent refers to the percentage of protein if I'm mixing it into a 50 pound mixture. But I can also mix it into other mixtures and I'll tell you how to do that and explain it to you so that this should be pretty basic, okay? The math is very basic, simple math, but this will give you a list so that it might help you. If you buy soy meal, that's 48% protein. Half of that, and you're half, if you're using half of that, then that's 24% protein. So if I'm mixing half soy meal and half deer corn, then I'm getting 24% protein plus 5% protein, which makes it 29% protein, right? So you can read this, one six, one eighth is 6% protein, and it shows you the pounds if you want to do it by pounds. One tenth would be five pounds if you're mixing it into a 50 pound batch. Into 50 pounds, this is the pounds to use. If you're mixing it into 40 pounds or 30 pounds or 100 pounds, this are, these are not the right pounds to use for that kind of a combination but I can show you how to do it into cups. Okay, so this is oats. So if I'm gonna, and you can use chicken feed with 16%. So it shows you that as well, right? So if I'm gonna mix black oil sunflower seeds, one third, that's 5%. Whole oats, one third, that's 4%. That's 9% with deer corn, right? 9, 10, 11, 12.33% protein is what's going to be in that mix of those three things. It's not going to be high in protein. It's not going to be even the 16%. So if you see somebody saying, hey, mix whole oats, deer corn, and sunflower seeds in equal portions, and one of each, one third, and you'll have a lot of protein. Well, you can see that's going to be 5, 9, 10, 11, 12.33% protein. That's not even the 16%. So that you know that, right? Okay, so there's oyster shells, and you can see oats, and wheat, it says 8 to 20%, but it's usually about 11%. So if it's 11%, I can look on here and I can see. I didn't break that one down for you, but I can if you need me to. So this is 10 and this is 12. So if I'm doing half, if I'm doing half, 5 and that's 6. So half is going to be 5.5. So it's between right there and there. So you can tell that. And Milo is 10%, so it would be the same as deer corn. Okay, so you can see that. And now I'm going to go down here and show you simple math fraction so you can split it up so if i'm using maybe i grab a pan out of the kitchen right with a good handle a good strong pan with a good strong handle and i'm scooping it out of the bags and i'm going to put one third of this and one third of that and one third of that i can use one scoop of this one scoop of that and one scoop of that and i know it's one third and then when i go up here to look 
I know that it's one third is this. Even though this is for mixing it into a 50 pound mixture, I still know that if I'm mixing one third of my ingredients is this, then one third is that percentage of protein when I put it in there to add with the other things. It's not, you can't say, oh, I'm adding, I'm adding 16% protein chicken feed and, and, and I'm using half of that into a mixture of deer corn and deer corn's 10% protein. That's not going to give it 26% protein. You have to realize that half is eight and half is five. So that's 13% protein, not 26. Okay. Um, and some people don't seem to realize this because, and I'm going to show you right now. I went and I watched other people's YouTube. And this is some of the people were mixing things like oats, corn, sunflower seeds, split peas. Can chickens have split peas if they haven't been rinsed and soaked? You need to check these ingredients and make sure they're not poisonous to the chickens and flaxseed. When they mixed it and I totaled it up, the one video that I watched, and there's a lot of videos out there. It was only 13% protein, even though they said it was very high in protein. There was another one that was corn, oats, sunflower seeds, and flax seed. And when I added it up, I came up with 13% protein. And that's my math. Do the math. Maybe my math was wrong. But somebody else mixed a lot of sunflower seeds, a lot of corn, a lot of oats, and threw a little bit of millet and a little bit of flax seed in it. And it was maybe about 12% protein while they were saying it was a lot of protein. It's not even the 16% protein that you would get. You know, you go buy a bag, you want to make sure they have 16% protein. Somebody else has measured it to make sure they have good nutrition, that they have the 16% protein. And where they're telling you that you want to give them healthy grains, and they're telling you that's a lot of protein, but it's not. Somebody else mixed a lot of corn, a lot of wheat, a lot of oats, and they threw a little soy in there, and they said it was a lot of protein. And the amount that they said of protein that it was would have been really bad for your chickens, because the number that they gave you that was so high would have been bad for your chickens if it was actually that high, but it wasn't. It was almost 15% protein according to my calculations. So it wasn't even still not the 16% protein, but it was higher in protein than some of these other mixes. So people do your math. This is what I'm saying. So I gave you some sample mixes and I tell you, I think you should double check and triple check my math because I didn't double and triple check it. I didn't use a calculator. I went over and added it up and I assumed that I'm right, right? This is what I did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I, you need to double check the math. This is what I'm saying. You need to double check the math. So I did a simple recipe. And you got to understand that even though sometimes the crops aren't as good as they, they don't have as, the nutrition they need. They don't have the right amount of water. They have, they may not even have the amount of protein. But so this is what I mixed this one, black oil sunflower seeds, one fourth, 12.5 pounds in a 50 pound mixture. Deer corn, one fourth, whole oats, one fourth. That's three fourths. And the other three fourths are broke down into one eighth soy meal. And I give you the pounds, one sixteen oyster shells. Um, 116 flaxseed and that's 17.375 percent protein so you can see that chicken feed 16 percent yes I got that because it's got a lot of nutrition in it that from people that have measured it and know what they're doing so I use some of that and then I wanted them to have some fresh ingredients so I threw black oil sunflower seeds in there soy meal in there oyster shells um, flaxseed and whole oats and deer corn even that's 18 percent protein right there right this one has 20.8% 20 20 protein. So that if you need ideas, you can add it up and see how much protein is in the mix. So this is another sample recipe. And you can pause this and read it and write it down and add it up and do the math. And here's another one. That's 21% protein. How much protein do you want your chickens to have? You know, to me, I would rather stay around the 16 or 17%. Because that's what they recommend. And this one is about 16% protein. 
well, this is less. This is only 14% protein. This one right here is only 14% protein. It's mis mixing a bag of sunflower seeds with a bag of corn and a bag of whole oats only gives you 14% protein. So if you want 16% protein, you're going to want to find something high in protein to add in there to get that protein up. And this one is no corn and no soy recipe, and it's only about 14% protein, 14.33% protein. So you might want to find something that's high in protein and mix it in just so that you can see though, this gives you an example. So if I'm getting a bag of scratch grains, that's 12% protein, and I'm giving my chickens 16% protein that I bought from a commercially already pre-mixed thing, and they're eating half and half of each, then they're not getting 16% protein from their total food because between 12 and 16 is about 14% protein, which would be what they would be getting. So, you know, I might want to go get some dried worms or something like that that has a lot of protein in it to feed them to get their protein up. So this is just some ideas and I want you to do the math. I want you to be able to do your own math. So I thought it would help you. So I created this for you to help you. And I, if this helps you, let me know. I'm just hoping this helps somebody out there so that your chickens are, are not sitting there getting 12 and 13% protein and you're thinking, oh, they're getting, you know, 35, 40% protein, which is bad for chickens. Look that up. I put it on my other video, but when they're only getting 12 or 13% protein or somebody's saying, oh, mix this together. This is a lot of protein. But then when you go to do the math, you're like, wow, that's not much protein at all. So I want you to be able to do that math. And I want you to be able to add that up and see that some of these are only 13% protein and they're not high in protein like they're promising you okay so do the math yourself is what i'm saying but hopefully this helps somebody because these youtube videos are not doing the math they're not putting the math in there and you don't know what the math is you're just oh they say it is so it must be but maybe it's not do your own math anyway thank you so much for tuning in it was just driving me crazy anyway have a great day Bye bye